Have you ever talked yourself out of a promotion? Or maybe you passed up on opportunities that you knew that you were qualified for. They could benefit you, they could benefit your family perhaps, but because you didn't think you deserved it, you didn't go for it. Or maybe because you had this overwhelming sense of self-doubt, you discounted your ability to go for those big promotions. Or maybe you have these good ideas and when you're in a group setting, you don't say anything because you are scared that people are gonna make fun of what you say or you think that it's gonna come out wrong or it just gives you anxiety to speak up. You know you're smart, but you second guess yourself. And because of that, the value you could be adding to your team and to your organization are left unheard. Or maybe you have so much self-doubt that you go for things in life that are sure things. This is something I see quite a bit. Maybe you talk yourself out of things or say that you don't want things because that's easier than you having to stretch outside of your comfort zone and try something new. So rather than be expansive in life and broaden your horizons, you play it safe and you tell yourself a lie that you don't want the things that you really want because it's too scary for you to go out there and get them. I'm reaching out because I am a leader in healthcare and I'll be holding a class to address these feelings and much more. I'm tired of healthcare suffering and I'm tired of working with healthcare leaders that know that they have more to contribute and they know that they have more to give and they want to, they want to step up, they want to be leaders and they want to do it with impact. But that fear, that doubt, that uh, anxiety is getting in the way from them stepping into their power. But, and guess what? Guess who suffers? It's not only maybe you, it could be your family if you don't go after the promotion. It could be your financial stability. And more importantly, it could also just be not providing the value that is needed to actually make things better in a time like this. You don't know how many times I run into leaders that are worthy of all the big things and have great ideas and, and suggestions that can improve healthcare, but they hold themselves back because they are scared or they have all this crippling self-doubt or they feel unworthy or worse off, they think that they have to prove themselves. And so by the time they finally get to the level that they should have been a long time ago, they've missed out on opportunities for themselves, for their family, and to contribute to their organization. If you can relate to what I'm talking to or you know leaders in healthcare or aspiring leaders in healthcare, please attend this class that I'm holding. These feelings that I'm describing are most commonly called imposter syndrome. And although I have controversial ways of thinking about imposter syndrome, I do have key proven strategies to help you not only understand these feelings, but also teach you tips to help you overcome them for good. So I'll be holding this totally free class to overcome imposter syndrome and I would love it for you to attend if you struggle with feelings such as these or please just spread the word if you know somebody that struggles with this. This is a topic that is not addressed a lot, especially in healthcare. However, it is one of the number one things that men, women, healthcare leaders, people struggle with. And because they struggle with it, they end up living a life of non-expensiveness, of contraction, and of lack. And again, I know I keep saying this, but we all suffer when you don't step into your gifts or if you know somebody else that could benefit from this class and they're not stepping into their gifts, have them come to the class. All right, hope to see you in class. Talk to you soon. The details to sign up are somewhere with this video. All right, take care.